Hello guys, this is What About Nintendo and today I'm here for another video. Today's video is a little bit different than usual, this is going to be a little more tech focused video. Today I'm going to be talking about why I think Nvidia and Nintendo could work together to make a Turing architecture version of the Nintendo Switch or a Turing 4K dock. Let's get right on into it. So, first off, for you guys who don't know, what is the Turing architecture? Well, I'm not going to go into exactly what makes it up and all of that numbers and, you know, computer talking, because that would just be pointless. Essentially, Turing architecture is what's powering the newest NVIDIA graphics cards, such as the 2080, the 2080 Ti, and the recently revealed 2060. And while it enables extremely graphics intensive features such as real-time ray tracing, it also has many features designed to save on performance without sacrificing image quality. Two of these features in particular would be very beneficial to the next-gen version of the Nintendo Switch. First off, DLSS or Deep Learning Super Sampling. So essentially, it renders the game at a lower resolution, say for example 720p, then upscales it to a higher resolution, for example 1080p, all while using anti-aliasing to clean up the image. In order to do this, the deep learning software has looked at many very high resolution versions of the same or similar images and used that information to upscale the base image to a higher resolution one without losing fidelity. This results in a basically on par or in many cases better image than a native higher resolution while having major performance boosts in the process. This would obviously be great for the Nintendo Switch as it would greatly boost performance while at the same time making the image actually look sharper and cleaner with greater anti-aliasing solution. Games like Doom and Wolfenstein 2 look very blurry because it uses a not that great but fairly cost effective anti-aliasing solution put over the very low resolution of the game itself. DLSS would upscale this low resolution to a higher resolution while at the same time using a better anti-aliasing solution that blurs a lot less and at the same time makes the game run better. So you're getting better graphics and better performance. What's there not to love about that? Secondly, variable rate shading. Not to get too into the specifics, essentially, variable rate shading is lowering the resolution and fidelity of certain objects in the scene that are hard to see and therefore don't need to be very detailed anyways. For example, an area of the game might be very dark, it might have a very dark corner, but there might be things in that corner, and there's no real reason to, you know, have these, you know, really high resolution textures and shaders and all that on something where it's super dark, so you can't really see the detail anyways, or, for example, on a very fast-moving object where motion blur is applied, so obviously the image is being blurred, so you can't see the detail then either. Since these objects cannot be seen well enough for the details of matter, you can lower the fidelity, lower the resolution of these objects in order to save on performance. This, again, would be amazing on the Nintendo Switch. Currently, the Switch uses a variable resolution in many games, lowering the resolution of the entire game if needed to help the frame rate. But, if this was used instead or alongside that, we could see resolution drop for objects that you wouldn't even notice instead of the entire screen dropping or if both were implemented then the resolution of the screen would drop less and you'd just get a cleaner image. Both of these methods combined on the Switch could potentially double the performance of the system while actually making games look better in the process. Nvidia just announced that the Turing architecture will very soon, in a couple of days or weeks in fact, be in laptops like five pound little skinny Mac looking laptops. So, the idea that Nvidia could put that hardware into a mobile chipset isn't really that crazy at all. Especially since their latest card, Xavier, already has a focus on deep learning, which is essential for the Turing cards. 
there's also the possibility that NVIDIA could make Nintendo a dock with RTX Turing GPU inside of it, allowing the normal Nintendo Switch to use these features without needing to buy any kind of Switch Pro or anything like that. Maybe that will be part of this supposed power-enhancing 4K dock that is being so heavily rumored. Anyways guys, that's all for this video. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell icon for notifications of all my other videos, all that good stuff. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of my idea of NVIDIA allowing Nintendo to use the Turing architecture in a new Switch or making a 4K dock with Turing architecture inside of it. Do you think that is possible? Do you think that that could happen anytime soon? And do you want to see that in a Switch 2 or a Switch Pro dock? Anyways guys, I'll see all you guys later with Nintendo. Bye!